Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I have a little bit, this is a weird tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a website because I really think it's important um, in this day and age if you are active on social media like Instagram, YouTube, um, Twitter, things like that. I really think it's important if you're trying to build a business, build an online presence, that you have a website. That website could be a blog that you contribute to regularly. It could be a um, an actual website, like what I'm going to show you how to build today. But the reason you want to do this is because any of these social media platforms can set up algorithms that suppress your content. They can um, disappear overnight or they can close down your account because you do not own that turf that you are posting to. So you don't want to end up in a situation like I was when I first started um, creating content online um, where I was creating a lot of content for this rubber stamping gallery and then it just went away. and probably a year's worth of uploading like several times a week all of the little um, description I wrote all of the tutorials were just gone and I learned my lesson that day that I needed to have my own place where I can put content where I know it's gonna be there where I know people can always go there and contact with me if they wanted to and um, because I have an online business it's important that people can get in touch with you even if your most successful social media plan uh, platform gets shut down the other reason I wanted to have a website is that uh, I wanted a place where I could sell uh, my paintings online. I had previously done craft fairs, I had rented a space in a multi-vendor um, antique mall, and those methods did all right, but as time went on, I realized I didn't have the time to keep running over to the shop, updating things, bringing new things in, moving things around, and my sales were declining. Also, because it was an, in an antiques shop, it wasn't really a place where people were going with the intention of buying artwork. Now, my earrings and cards did pretty well, but the actual paintings, um, when they did sell, they were selling for much less than what they were worth. Uh, so I made the decision this year to close down my um, retail space and move the operation online. I don't have things for sale yet on my website, but I am building that website with the intention to put them up next month when I clear everything out of my shop. Because what I'm doing this month is actually I have put my shop on sale through Christmas and then I'm going to take the week after Christmas to pack it up and bring it home. So far a lot of things have sold, so I may be starting from scratch in the new year, but that's okay. When I did my massive declutter of my craft room, I realized that um, I had more brain space to think once I got all this stuff out of the way and I really had been treating that retail space almost as a paid storage unit that you know basically a lot of months I sold enough just to pay the rent uh, for uh, that storage space or sometimes I wouldn't even even went in the hole but I kind of justified it by thinking well otherwise I would have to just put this in storage and I'd have to be paying for that anyway so at least it can be there where people can buy it and it can offset the cost but that was a really poor business decision when there is a market for my artwork it's just not in Brewer Maine it's it's in the world wide web <laughs> universe so I need to put my products where the customers are. So in this video, I'm gonna go through step-by-step -step on how I created a website using Wix. Wix is a sponsor of today's video and I thank them for uh, reaching out to me um, several times because I kept telling them that you don't want me. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't make a website. And they're like, no, you can make one. No, I can't make a website. Have you have you seen what I, I don't do technological things. But turns out it's really easy. Um, the platform is great for making beautiful websites. You can customize it however you want, which is nice because I love blogging on WordPress. I'm going to tell you that right now. I love it, but I'm very limited to how I can arrange things on my page. Um, I'm very limited to the themes that I can use. This gives you so much more access, so much more customizability, and it's really easy too. You don't need to know coding. You don't need to be a computer expert. You don't need to be technical. If I can do it, trust me, you can do it too. So without further ado, I'm going to show you my screen and we're going to walk through together. And uh, you can make your own website for free so don't feel like you have to go spend some money. There are plans you can upgrade to so you can have e-commerce or take the Wix logo off of your site if you want to. But, um, but you know, try it for free and see if it's for you. So let's go to the computer and see how to get this going. Okay, let's take a tour of my brand new website. And I was able to get my own domain name, lindsaywyrick.com. And that's because I am on the e-commerce plan and they actually included that free when you get that plan. So um, you can start completely for free. You don't have to um, get a paid plan to build your website, but it is nice that they offer the domain for free um, for a year when you do that. So what I wanted to do was make this website super useful for anybody. 
anybody that is a fan that wants to reach me. So first, let's do a quick overview here. We're at the top of the home page and I've got this menu here, which will take you to other digital assets I have. Now you can do different tabs within or different pages within this website. So if you want to have a blog and you didn't have one yet, you could build it right here on your Wix website. I have been working on this blog for about 10 years, so I just linked to that for now. But I made sure when I opened the uh, or when I added that option or added that on my menu that it opened in the same window. So it looked like it was part of the same page. Obviously, I need to do some work on the branding of my blog to make them match up a little bit better. But um, but I thought that worked pretty well. And the same thing with classes. I made it so it opened up in the same page. So all you got to do is make another choice. Make one click, make another choice. It's easier for my uh, customers and fans to enroll in the class that way. Now, I did decide to open this next tab in a free window or this next site in a free window, in another window because it was my video tab and that's at YouTube, hosted on YouTube. So obviously you would know YouTube wasn't part of my website. So I thought that made sense for it to go to another window for that. And there you can find my most recent uh, videos and or search for other videos that um, that I've done in the past. So I wanted just to make that as easy as possible. And here front and center, I wanted people to have the option to sign up for my newsletter because like I mentioned before, you never know what's going to happen with those social media accounts that you're using and you've worked so hard to build a big following. But if it goes away, the best way to reach your people is in their inbox. So um, I highly recommend building a mailing list as well as your website. So you can always reach those people if one of your social media media channels goes away. So these first two pictures at the top of the art supplies, those were actually in the Wix um, editor. It just came with a, with the blog as I was designing it uh, or the website. It was right there for me to choose. Uh, so it was very easy. So you can get started literally with like no photos or anything to add. You can get going with what's already there. Now, every time you see a new band of color here or a new photo, uh, that's a section. And a section is kind of a grouping of like-minded objects. So here I decided to throw in a, a video section. So I put three videos so somebody could basically take a free class. And then if they liked it, they might click try a class or subscribe for more videos because they like those so much. Or they might click for free project ideas, which would take you again to my blog because I have thousands of free project ideas there. Then I put in a section of an artist bio. So it's just a very quick paragraph of kind of who I am, what I do, and then I just put a bunch of photos of artwork in here. And the great thing about this was that what I did was I was able to upload all of these from Instagram. So like I said, if you have been building that social channels already, you've been uploading to Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or um, I mean, I think they probably are connected to all of them. You can import your photos and it's just it's so easy. I didn't have to go through all of my backup CDs of photos and find the ones I wanted. I was able just to snag them right off Instagram and add them in. So um, very easy. And I love that people can like flick through like this and, you know, get a better look at them. They don't have to leave the website to do anything. And that's really the goal. You don't want to send people away. You want them on their on your website. This section here was also suggested by the Wix editor. Uh, and this is just a quote section. I did change a picture and change the quote to one I really liked. Um, and then at the bottom, I put a contact form. And I think this is really important because um, not only do I get emails from fans, I also get emails a lot of times from clients that want to sponsor videos. And this is a great way for them to contact me. This is also a good way for a fan to contact me if maybe they're not involved on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Pinterest. They can send me a message and they don't have to be you know, involved with a social media network because a lot of people don't like to use social media. And here I just reiterate my call to action buttons, sign up for the newsletter, try a class, subscribe for videos, my crafty blog. That way people can um, remember that, oh yeah, I, I wanted to grab some videos. I wanted to try a class. You know, it just gives them another chance to uh, kind of opt in, I guess. And um, honestly, it's great to get people on a newsletter because then you can always reach them regardless of what happens on the World Wide Web. So now that you've seen a tour of my website, let's go about seeing how you can design your own. 
Okay, after you sign up for Wix, you're going to be brought to a site that looks like this that is trying to suss out what kind of website you want to make. Uh, you may be doing a blog or a website for a um, kind of service related business, or maybe you want to sell products online and have an online store. So let's say you picked online store. Now you have two different choices. For some of the options, you're only going to have one choice. You're going to go right to the templates and that's fine. But um, with other choices, you also have the option of using the um, Wix ADI to create the website for you. And that's basically kind of like a cheat sheet, basically. It's a kind of a quick start program if you don't know anything about web design. Um, you can pick all different kinds of things to um, to create your site about. Uh, I Mine has arts, arts and crafts blog because I was just uh, playing with this a minute ago and that was what I had originally typed. And then it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? Do you want to take bookings and appointments or do you want to get subscribers? Um, and a lot of these are optional. If it's nothing that pertains to you, then you can just skip it. Um, I could call this, you know, Lindsay's Crafts because I already have the Frugal Crafter one. So I'll just say Lindsay's Crafts. And we'll click next and then um, here it'll ask for your address but if you don't want to put that in there if it's not relevant because you don't have like a, a place where people can come and shop you just skip that and um, it's going to kind of give you some different options you can add social media networks which I totally would do but I'm not doing it now because this video is already pretty long uh, you basically just do what the screen tells you to do it prompts you along so then look at these uh, different options and say okay what looks the most like me okay maybe I'll try this one here and this is actually how I got started on my site. And then I switched over to the Wix editor for a little bit more um, customizability. So this is a great place to start because I think when you're looking at all of the options that you have, it will make your mind spin. Especially for me, I was seeing like pages and pages and they're all beautiful templates. And I was afraid I was gonna pick the wrong one because they were all so beautiful. So this helps narrow the field down so that you can um, get down to business. So if you find yourself just, if you have a hard time with too many choices, then just go this way because you are going to, um, you're gonna have a lot, much of an easier time to do it. Okay, so, and look at this. Look what it already made for me here. It's got a, homepage here it found look at that he found pictures that would work and I can go ahead and click on any of these areas and I can edit them now the I just clicked it away unfortunately but there was a little menu over here that um, that would help you design the different things help you change your text and whatnot um, and I just kind of uh, accidentally clicked it away it will prompt you on what you need to do next. Now this one um, was set up like a blog, so it's gonna give you the option to make a new post. So you could click the new post and start writing your blog post. So just follow the directions on the screen. If you make a mistake, go back and start again. It's, uh, it's not difficult, it's a lot of fun, and um, you know, just have fun with it. That's the best way you're gonna learn is just by playing with it. You can add new sections, like if I wanted to add um, a video section or an about section, there are so many options that are here that you can drag and drop in. The thing is to just play with it, and I think you'll have fun, and if you don't like it, if it's not for you, then you haven't lost anything because it's free to get your website set up. You only have to upgrade if you want to. So let's take one more look at the website. I am just so excited because this meets the needs that I currently have. A place to sell my work now that I'm closing my retail space. That's coming in about a month and a half. I also have a way to reach my customers if any of the social media uh, networks I use go out of business, which is wonderful. This is also one place where I can have everything conveniently located, which is convenient for my fans and for my customers. So that's what I wanted to achieve with this website and I really think that I succeeded. And I'm just so grateful for Wix and making this easy platform that anybody can try. Like I said, if you wanna learn how to build a website, build a website and do it for free on Wix. Decide whether the premium options are for you and upgrade if you want to or need to. I am so pleased with this and I am so glad to have their gentle guidance along the way 
way and also these easy tools that make it easy enough for anyone. If I can do it, you can do it for anyone to build a website. I want to thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed a tutorial like this and you like to see more kind of kind of techie tutorials, I'll do my best. What can I say? Let me know in the comments below and leave a thumbs up because that really helps my channel. I want to thank Wix for sponsoring this video today and having faith in me. And until next time, happy crafting.